Howdy guys, lovely to see you all again. It is the solo we've all been waiting for, the third solo from One by Metallica. This one actually has distortion in it, which is nice and fun. There's a lot of cheeky tapping too. Anyway, without further ado, let's take a look at the third and final solo from One by Metallica. Alright, let's look at the first section. I'm going to start off with a tap on 19 of the first string and pull off 12 and hammer to 15. Now as soon as we get this premise, it's going to be a lot of the same kind of concept. So I'm going to go 19, 12, 15, and I'm going to do that idea six times. Okay, then from that point I'm going to bring my tap over to 20 of the first string, but my left hand stays where it is, and I'm going to play 12, 15 again, and we're going to do six taps on 20. So all together thus far, We're going to do exactly the same thing on the second string now. So I'm going to play 19, 12, 15, six times. And then 20, 12, 15, six times. So back to back, we should have this. Then from that point, I bring my left hand back to 10, 13. That's where my hammer-ons are going to be happening on my fretting hand. And my tap's going to be playing 17. So I'm going to play 17, 10, 13, six times. And then my tap goes over one fret to 18. So it's exactly the same as what we had before on the second string. I've just shuffled everything back two frets. So we should have sort of six groups of six. Let's see what we've got thus far from the start. Hopefully that's making sense. Now the next phrase is a little unusual. I'll play it for you and then we'll break it down. Let's slow that down. So one thing that's a little bit confusing about this is when you have the tap, it kind of works into this quick hammer on thing. So if I take away the tap, we're gonna kind of have a phrase like this. It's got sort of a weird hammer on emphasis. So we're gonna go through that slowly. The first thing that I did was a hammer on from 12 to 14. And then I want to play 12, 10. It's going to do a very similar idea. I'm going to play 10 to 12 as a hammer on and then play 10, 8. Then I go, what I have there is 8, 10, back to 8. So hammer on, pick, pick, going 8, 7. And then the last group, I go 7, 8, and then 7 to 5. So it'll go like this. So I should have four little groups in this kind of hammered phrase. So now what we're going to do is we're going to replace every single picked note with a tap from 17th fret. So I'm going to go tap hammer on, and then I'm going to go tap single note, tap single note. And that's going to carry over those four groups. You can hear that kind of weird hammer on emphasis at full speed. Sounds pretty rad. Anyway, that's the whole first section. Let's try it again at a gentleman's pace, and then again, even slower with some tabs. One more time with some tabs. Okay, so the start of the second section, we're going to start off with sort of like a tremmy thing. I'm playing uh, essentially 30 second notes from 12 of the second string, and I'm going to do eight of those. 
and then I'm gonna hit a ninth, and that's gonna sort of ring out a little bit. So sort of like one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one. But at full speed, I mean, you could just trim it and then stop at the right time. At the end of that, this is all triplets. So I'm playing 14, 15, 17 on the first string, but I'm doing a triplet on each one of them. So three picks. At the end of that, I was jumping to 15 of the second string, also doing a triplet, and then back down to 17 of the first. So this is what we should have thus far from the start. Hopefully that's making sense. What I had there was three bends from 22 of the first string. Hopefully that's all making sense. Then I work into this next phrase. And so on and so forth. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have three leading notes. So I'm playing 15, 17, and then 19 is a hammer on. And then I've got this one phrase, which is a group of six notes. So we've got that 15, 17, 19 leading in. And then when we land on the next bar on the beat, let's slow that down. I'm gonna do a pull off from 17 to 15 on the first string. Then jump to 17 of the second. And then from that point, I'm gonna pull off to 15 and then roll forward like what we had before. So we should have this. So if I go from that leading note, that leading three notes really, and then into that six note phrase, that's gonna kinda of get us ready for the next lick. And we wanna do six of those in a row. So we're gonna have our lead in. One, two, three, four, five, six. We're gonna end on that roll, and then we go into this phrase. So what I'm doing there is the same phrase eight times in a row, very, very simple. I've got a flat pointer covering 15 of the first and the second string, and then I'm rolling down this little legato thing. I'm playing 19, 17, 15, all in one pick on the first string, and then I go to 15 of the second string. Now, if you start on a down pick, you'll end up with inside picking, which is kind of a pain in the ass. I like to start on the up pick so that I'm going up down. It feels better than sort of being trapped in between those two strings there. So if you want to start that on an up pick and get the outside picking involved, uh, that's just my cheeky little tip. Anyway, that's pretty much all of the second section. Let's do that again at a gentlemanly pace and then again, even slower with some tabs. One more time, some tabs. Okay, let's have a look at section three. Keep in mind that we've had a bit of a key change and now we're sort of in a G minor -y pentatonic vibe. I'm gonna start off with this phrase. So what I've got at the start of that was a bend from 18 of the second string, and then I'm playing 15 of the first, and I'm going one and two and three and four and. The same thing three, uh, four times in a row. One and two and three and four and. And then I play the next phrase exactly the same twice. Let's slow that down. I'm playing 18, 15 of the first string, bending 18 of the second string, and then back to 15 of the first. All together. Hopefully that's all making sense. Then I work into this phrase. All right, let's slow that down. All of these little legato rolls, there's five in a row that have pretty much exactly the same timing and premise. I'm gonna start on 19 of the first string and I'm gonna pull off 19, 17, 15, and then pluck 17 again. So that's sort of three rolling legato notes and then one extra pick is gonna be sort of the same gag that keeps coming up. The next thing that I do is I'm gonna play 17, 15, 14 as rolling legato and then plucking the 15 again. Hopefully that's making sense. Then I go to the second string. I'm gonna play 19, 17, 15, rolling legato, and then back to the 17. So now we should have three rolls. Hopefully that's all making sense. And then I wanna play 
17, 15, 13, and then back to the 15. And then the next one, I'm playing 15, 13, 12, and then plucking the 13 again. So as I said, we've got exactly the same premise uh, and concept five times in a row. Hopefully that's all making sense. Then I work into this phrase. What I've got here is a very quick hammer on pull off going 12, 13, 12 on the second string, jumping to 14 of the third and then back to, down to 12 of the second string. That's gonna sound like this. And I've got, what I have here is I'm playing 12 of the second string and then I'm doing 14 to 12 on the third string as a pull off twice. So it'll go, kind of working in triplets there and then jumping to 14 of the fourth string. At the end of that, notice that I'm hitting two notes on 12 of the third string. All right, let's go from this rolling legato idea into that phrase that I just played. Hopefully that's making sense. What I have here is two bends and then a triplet of bends. So we should have five all together. At the end of that fifth bend, I sort of hold it a little bit at the top and then I want to bring it down and pull it off into 12. At the end of that, kind of work down a bluesy pentatonic there. I'm gonna start from 12 of the third string and play 14 of the fourth back to 12 of the third. At the end of that, nice and predictable kind of chromatic blues there. I'm playing 14, 13, 12 on the fourth and fifth string. And then that resolves on 10 of the fifth. So we've got, hopefully that's all making sense. So let's go right back to the start of the section where we have that sort of G minor pentatonic-y bend phrase. We'll do it all relatively slowly and then we'll do it again even slower with some tabs. One more time with some tabs. All right guys, last section, we're just hanging around the G minor pentatonic up here. I'm gonna start off with a muted note on 17 of the fourth string. I'm gonna hit that twice and then play a double stop on, uh, what am I doing here? I'm playing a double stop on 15 of the second and the third string. I'm gonna do that idea four times in a row. One, two, three, four, and then I work into this. What I've got here, doing some angry uh, shaky vibrato. I'm playing a double stop on 17 of the second and the third string. Hit it twice and then it works into this phrase. So what I've got here, which is really cool, is I'm playing the double stop and then pulling off to two notes in another double stop. So I'm pulling off 17 to 15 on the second and the third string at the same time. At the end of that, I'm playing 17 of the fourth and 15 of the second and the third string. So we keep coming back to this double stop gag. All together. Hopefully that makes sense. I'm gonna borrow that first phrase again, just two times, then it goes. What I have here is a dead note, and then I'm playing 17 of the uh, second and the third string again. So we're gonna go. So it's just a dead note. At the end of that, I'm gonna go back up to 17 of the fourth string, and then play a double stop on 15 of the second and the third again. So I'll play the most recent phrase very slowly. Hopefully that's making sense. Then I work into this phrase. So what's going through my head when I play that is one and two and three and four and five and six and seven. So all of my counts are the bent notes and all my ends are gonna be the offbeat uh, notes that are happening on the first string. So I'm bending 18 of the second string and then I'm playing 15 of the first string. 
So I'm going one and two and three and four and five and six and seven. Ending on that angry seven, you can give it some vibrato if you want to. One and two and three and four and five and six and seven. Nice and angry. So that's pretty much all of the final section. Let's play it again at a gentlemanly pace and then again, even slower with some tabs. One more time with some tabs. And that was the third solo from One by Metallica. Hope you guys have enjoyed that. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And please click the links in the description box to my Facebook group, my Patreon, and I've got some courses up on Udemy. Speaking of uh, things on Udemy, I've also got my book that I wrote recently called Ultimate Shred Machine. It deals with uh, shredding, sweeping, legato, and tapping. And if you were not much of a reader, I have made an entire course out of that book. So you don't have to read. You can just uh, watch me do the stuff and tell you about it. Uh, there's a link to that course in the description box as well. Anyway, go nuts with all of those links in the description box. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. I'll catch you guys all very soon.